Hi folks, I just wanted to make a quick video about this Keta Oakland shed that we've just finished building. Uh, it was a, a fun experience building it. Um, I use that term not entirely truthfully, but uh, it is built and I'm quite happy with it now to be honest. So I just thought I'd show you some bits. Um, first of all, we managed to build it. That's the important bit. We had some interesting experiences with the roof. <laughs> When we were trying to put the roof on and at one point I thought it was never going to go on and I'll explain why very quickly just to have a quick tour around in here so the whole thing's made out of plastic but with metal poles that support the roof going around and uh, as we also found out you can actually leave the cardboard boxes that this thing is delivered in uh, outside for about two weeks in the wind and rain uh, without anything going rusty because everything is nicely painted and it's either made of uh, aluminium or painted steel I can't tell but uh, it all survived being left out in wet cardboard boxes now um, here's the thing that really uh, got to us as you can see, this uh, triangular gable end panel, it's made out of three plastic panels that you shove together using a tongue and groove down these lines. Um, but when we first put this triangular panel up, we were doing it from the inside and we made sure that these lines join together. Which all seemed fine, but what we didn't realize was as we go outside that they weren't lining up out here and in actual fact this entire panel was just one centimeter to the left of what it should have been and we didn't notice that because we were doing all the work from the inside at that point and uh, to compound that problem after we would put those uh, triangular gable ends up it was time to put the roof panels up and it goes up in six sections one two three four five six and you put them all along one two three in that direction and when we got to this end we found that it wasn't quite joining up there where it was supposed to because we hadn't noticed we hadn't noticed the, the actual problem with that triangular end we just thought it was it might have been an issue with the ground not being completely flat um because a, a bunch of people might want to know about this um can you build this thing on a non-flat surface well we've put it on a patio and it's not a completely flat patio it's got a runoff um and you know it, it's not a concrete base but we we looked at it before we built it and we thought that is fairly flat so we went for it and as you can see the thing is looking fairly straight and the roof is good so it can be done anyway with this uh with this roof issue, we managed to get five of the six panels up and just realized it, it was never actually going to be possible to put the final panel on. They just didn't uh, fit together properly. And that's uh, when we started walking around the, the shed going, what is the issue? And we figured out this gable end problem. So hopefully maybe that will help somebody. Um, what else can I tell you? You get millions and billions of these little screws. I think they're called SC15s now. They're not, it's burnt into my brain. And don't be worried if you lose a few because Keta do give you uh, a lot of extras in the packs. Uh, so you can quite happily lose some of these screws while you're doing it. And uh, I would definitely recommend that you get a... Um, a drill with a screwdriver feature um, that, that lets you uh, 
spent hours and hours doing all these screws up because there are hundreds and hundreds of them and you do not want to be doing this with a manual screwdriver because everything is uh, screwed in at the end of the day okay um waffling a bit now i just want to say one more thing which is uh, as you can see at the bottom here these large screws uh, hold the plastic panels into the base and you will need access at the back of the shed to uh, screw them in as well so what you can see here is uh, i've actually shoved the whole shed back after we finished building it uh, you you're going to need about a foot and a half or so to access the back of it while you're building it and uh, so just a word of warning don't try and build the thing uh, right up close to a back wall because you do need to access the back and you also need to get up on step ladders to bang the roof down uh, into the grooves um, while you're putting the roof on but uh, you know it's nice to report that the shed is uh, light enough for two people to be able to shove it into place and move it around a little bit after you've built it um, that said we did build it during a storm I was up with a drill while it was extremely windy and rainy and uh, it wasn't easy but uh, bits didn't fly away and it is fairly substantial now I, I, I do think it will last uh, in any storms that come along our valley so I'll do an update if uh, if we have any issues but I think it's good um, I haven't really got anything else to say apart from I think it took us about maybe 10 hours or so over a few days um, with two of us uh, me and the wife doing it and uh, apart from the roof issues it all went fairly straightforward one thing I would mention is um, this this door section metal door frames one uh, one two and three parts they all screw together join together here and then there's a plastic part that goes above it and they give you these plastic spacers and they uh, it suggests that you put in one spacer here and another spacer here now uh, well when we put it together we found that there just wasn't room on this side for the spacer to go in and in actual fact um, this uh, there's a, a, a tongue here belonging to this panel that wants to go into a groove in this panel and uh, it just wasn't all gonna fit uh, horizontally and there was no groove in this panel and I ended up cutting a groove into it with a hacksaw so so that this tongue can go into this panel and that was actually the only way that this thing was going to actually come together because without that without that groove um this bit here was too wide uh, sorry uh yeah too wide for this roof bit to actually go in if you can imagine uh this roof has got a, a groove just behind it here that comes down over the top of this panel but also on this side the roof uh, comes down and clips to this metal frame that goes up there and if the width between that and that isn't quite right that roof panel is not going down and so putting that groove in there was the key to making it the right width now I don't know if that's a problem that um, that people generally have with this or maybe it's the fact that the floor is not completely flat so maybe there's some kind of flex going on and there's not enough tolerance but that's the way we dealt with it and uh, okay it's not perfect um, I don't know if you can see but you know there's no spacer on that side hiding the gap but you know it's just a shed I don't care <laughs> apart from that it seems to be all right Okay guys, I've waffled on enough. I, uh, I hope there's uh, been something useful for you and uh, ask any questions if there's something you want to know. Apart from that, I'm quite happy with it. Cheers.